Namaste. In this session, we will be looking at ordinal encoder. Now, in the previous class, we looked at label encoder. And what label encoder did was, it just asked us for a list of values in a particular column. It assigned them in uh, alphabetical order and basically assigned them 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 values. It didn't even think about whether what was 0, what was 1, what was 2. Okay, because that was a target label. So it doesn't really matter which one is 0, which one is 1. But in this ordinal encoder, it is specifically prepared for the categorical features, right? Our input features. And what it does is it will assign 0, 1, 2 based upon our criteria. So it will basically ask us which category you want to be 0, which category you want to be 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So this is one of the ways of encoding categorical features for feeding into a machine learning model. Okay, so we will see what it does. So now this is the data set we have, the income evaluation that we saw in the previous lecture as well. So now first and foremost, we will split the data into training and testing set because we should not do any kind of data pre-processing on the entire data set at once. So my X is my input features is df dot drop income inc drop this income column from the axis is equal to one then for my y give me df of income so I successfully split my data into training and testing set now if you see in this education column, I have bachelor's, high school, grad, 11th, bachelor's, etc. Let us see what all different values I have there. So I'll say education. Now I have so many values. So if I do a simple value counts on this series, it will give me that 8450 have a high school, grad, and these are the different uh, values present in this data set, in this X train data set now there are 17 different values here so if i use one out encoding on this it will create 17 different columns so to one way to avoid that is we know that uh, for example bachelors and masters which one is better masters is better so masters will get a better rank than bachelors okay similarly 10th will get a better rank than 7th and 8th and 7th and 8th will get a lesser rank than 9th etc so you see there is a particular order in this particular column right so if we see in this uh, work class we have state government self-employed private private so we cannot put an order on this right we cannot say state government is better than private etc but we can definitely say that 12th is better than 9th okay which is better than 5th and 6th which is be better than 1st and 4th so there is a particular order and this is called an ordinal categorical variable right that is why we are using an ordinal encoder here so what i'll do is i'll first say uh, x train of question dot unique so these are the unique values here so now i'll first arrange them in ascending order of their importance so i've created this series uh, these are basically the same names in this series here this X train of education but I've assigned them in ascending order for example preschool is less than first to fourth uh, etc okay so this is the uh, actual list that we are going to feed into ordinal encoder so I'll first import ordinal encoder class from sklearn dot preprocessing I'll import ordinal encoder okay so now I'll create an ordinal encoder class object here and now if you see it is asking me for a categories although it is not necessary it is asking me to choose my categories here okay so if i tell it that the categories is edu i have to pass in as a list here so i'm telling uh, ordinal encoder that i'm going to pass this list here of uh, extern of education and this is the order that you need to encode the values in okay so if I press 
okay so i just this is giving me a warning i need to give it as a keyword argument and not as a positional argument so now if i fit now it is now it is time to fit the data i'll say ordi dot fit and now on this x train of which column do i want so so now the order matters like for example if i had two or three columns here like education or gender etc then i have to pass the name of the columns in the same order okay so i'll say of education here and this needs to be a 2d array so i'll pass in like this okay now i fit this now if i transform dot transform and i'll transform this same data set here hmm. so now see now uh, it isn't really visually appealing so much so i'll convert it into a data frame first so now you see now if i check what was my x train of education now if i check what number is assigned to 11th it should be 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this 11th should be assigned a number 6 in our output data frame and that is the result if we have assigned a 6 to 11th so if i check again the next one is high school grade so 6th number 6 was 11th so this is 7 and this is 8 okay so high school grade should be 8 and that is the case here high school grade is 8 so see now this series that we have this is in the particular order of that we wanted basically right so now we can feed this uh, numerical series to the uh, machine learning model because now we know that 6 is less than 8 like you know in that sense that um, 11th is less than high school grad etc so this is how you can use ordinal encoder to reduce your feature space uh, now instead of using one hot encoder you can use also ordinal encoder on columns that really make sense for ordering right now for example if i try to do it on the gender column as well so if i check what are the unique values in the gender column you have only two unique values here so now if i do gender is equal to male and female so now you tell me what would happen if i uh, do ordinal encoding on this column so what would happen is male would be assigned 0 and female would be assigned 1 because this is the order i'm passing it in right so left most left most will be 0 and this will be the order now what i'll do is i'll say gender here as well the categories and as i told you the order matters here so i have assigned edu first hence education will come here first and then the second column will be my gender column here the column name has a space here this m should be capital and this female so this should match as well because that is because uh, sklearn ordinal encoder will actually look for these values in the column that you have specified okay so the problem was this male has all this male and female also have spaces before them so see this data set needs a lot of pre processing because it needs to strip these uh, spaces before them right so we will do that in a future video but for now i think this should be good enough now if i do it now you see it isn't giving us any error because it has found those categories here so now it has fit the data set now if i first just look just for verification purpose so this is the order that we should have right now yeah what i'll do is i'll transform these two columns in the same order that we passed in so now you see the male has been assigned 0 if you check the first one was male so male has been assigned 0 the next three should be one okay so male has been assigned zero the next three are ones then the zeros are females so you see this is how we can use ordinal encoder now i know that it doesn't really make sense to make male zero female one or vice versa because there is no particular order in the gender but 
for the education that was true and I just wanted to show you how to use uh, ordinal encoder for multiple values right because this order matters and I wanted to show you how this order matters so if I give edu first and gender second then I need to give education first here and then the gender column here I hope now you have a clear picture in your head as to when to use ordinal encoder and when not to use an ordinal encoder and when to use a label encoder as well because people use label encoder in place of ordinal encoder thinking that it will work the same way but actually it doesn't work the same way a label encoder will blindly give 0 1 2 3 4 in alphabetical order it will not think about which one is better which one is less okay so uh, use an ordinal encoder for the categorical features which have order in them now as well I just forgot that I have to uh, transform the test set as well just for the sake of it so I will do successfully now also transform the test set uh, education and gender columns ok so this is the way to do it so thank you for watching if you like this video please do not forget to like and subscribe and if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section below i'll be happy to address them all